when every dimension of my mind is aligned with the realization that our true nature is that of the divine, I begin to feel this sensation of love flowing up and down my spine with absolutely no sense of space nor time. And within that moment, yes, this moment, which is the only moment I'm in a state of pure joy. Whenever I tend to approach life from the standpoint of how can I be of service, yet am higher selfish enough to realize my life's own highest purpose, delving deeply beneath my surface, I emanate pure joy. When I am so blessed as to be in the company of a beautiful woman with a beautiful spirit on a beautiful day, and let's just say that together we begin to form a chemistry potentially as explosive as the sun. In due time, our souls, bodies, and minds intertwine so close that we become as one. And together, through mutual pleasures, we discover each other's own hidden treasure, the treasure that lies within pure joy. Now, of course, there exist moments in which times seem to get too rough and I'm not feeling so tough, yet deep in my soul, I know that my trust in God is enough. And when I get in tune and in touch, I am able to make a conscious choice to express pure joy. Many, many, many years ago, when I was around the age of 18, 19, 20 years old, well, let's, let's just say that against my mother's hopes, I ran the streets and sold dope. And in order to cope with the constant, contentious, unconscious, and senseless conflicts upon those corners, as well as the general lack of peace in the streets, well, let's just say that I chose to pack a piece within reach, usually someplace around my waist, you know, just in case. See, I was living stressfully, recklessly, striving desperately to avoid catching the case from my police chase. Then it began to just be two dope boys going state to state with a briefcase. See, in order to increase rates of profit, me and my close road dog Rob began traveling to other towns trafficking. My life was unraveling at such a rapid pace. Then I come back home and although few words were spoken, I could see that my mother's heart was so close to being broken by the looks of worry, hurt, and disappointment written upon her face. It's been quite a journey from then to now. And though I am now billions and trillions of light years from being back in that place, what I most recall beyond all my potential pitfalls and close calls is my mother's resolve and amazing grace. See, regardless of which route I chose to take, my mother never once withheld from me the love from her heart's warm embrace. And the mere thought of her unconditional love and support always seems to open up a space within my heart to be forever filled with pure joy. I am not quite sure, but I believe that it has been some combination of a lot of love, a little luck, and a touch of ambition which has fueled my transition away from that certain compliance with crime indirectly into this metaphysical philosophy that some call the science of mind. See, it was during some time that year within my first class here that I was taught the creative process and how to consciously construct my life's design, which undoubtedly has helped my light to shine as I now rotate upon the axis of my daily spiritual practice with a lot more commitment and dedication to things like medicate meditation. Doing my best as I grow to live in life's flow and know that every day is a day for joy, gratitude, and celebration. Therefore, I'd like to say thanks to my many trials and tribulations which led to self-exploration for I've discovered the power of faith and chosen to allow it to baptize my fears. For inner reflection through introspection has shown me that my fears are only an illusion created by doubt, no matter how real each fear may appear. And this realization inevitably brings peace to my mind. So within my heart, there's now cheer. And for me, it is now clear, as I can clearly see right now here, that our most precious gift in life at least I believe, is freedom of choice. And within this moment, I now choose for my circle of love to forever expand. Therefore, although I may not know you personally, as sure as I'm alive, I strive to love you all universally, simply because I can. And as I now stand in reverence of peaceful people like Gandhi and Dr. King, I just like to say that I too have a dream. Well, actually more like a plan in which I choose to give, accept, and live this message of joy and love eons beyond this lifespan. And though this alone does not define me, it definitely does divinely remind me that within the scheme of things grand, 
that ultimately we are spirit, each having our own unique experience as woman, child, and man. But no longer do I choose to affirm this truth of our being by beginning with the phrase, I am. No. In honor of the oneness which exists throughout all existence, I now choose to begin with the phrase, we are. Because regardless of how it may appear on the surface, being made in spirit's image, we are all perfect. Perfect expressions of love, truth, freedom, fearlessness, peace. And of course, last, but definitely not least, pure joy. And before I go, I would just like to mention that I'd like to thank you for giving me what is probably your most precious commodity, your undivided attention. Thank you.